Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Casey and I'm the designer behind the indie sewing pattern company, Pattern Scout. I started sewing my clothing in 2018, became absolutely obsessed with it and have learned a lot, not just about sewing, but about life in general through my sewing practice. So today I just wanted to kind of do a little chatty episode with you guys and talk about the five things that I've learned from sewing my own wardrobe over the last four years. First and foremost is sewing ain't cheap. It ain't cheap, you guys. I mean, you can do it in a little bit more affordable way, but in general, it is actually a pretty expensive hobby. When I tell most people that I sew my own clothing, I think the assumption is that there must be some sort of economical incentive for me to be doing this. And the truth is, no, I just really, really love it. Like I said before, I'm obsessed, but it can be very expensive, especially depending on the type of machine that you start out with. The startup costs are kind of hefty, so when you have your sewing machine, all the supplies and equipment that you need to start sewing, it can start to add up. And fabric is also not cheap. Fabric can be pretty expensive. Before I started selling my own clothing, I would be hesitant to spend more than $30 on a garment, which is, I mean, it's pretty cheap. But now I will easily spend $30 on fabric alone. Plus that's not even accounting for the amount of time that I put into these garments. Oftentimes I'll spend at least a day a day and a half for some of the more involved garments like jeans and outerwear, I'm gonna be spending, you know, a couple of days up to a week to complete those projects. And for some of those projects, there is a lot of research that goes into those things. So it definitely is much cheaper for me to just go to a store and buy something off the rack. But don't let that discourage you if you are thinking about starting to sew your own clothing because there are definitely ways that you can make it more economical such as thrifting and repurposing old clothing and bed linens and home decor fabrics and also finding thrifted supplies and equipment is also an option. It just takes a little bit more legwork and time and research to build up your supplies and equipment if you're doing it that way. Another thing that I learned or just became more aware of through my sewing practice is that ready to wear clothing or clothing that you're buying in the store is often priced way, way, way too low. This actually became really apparent to me when I started a business selling my sewn products. So this was long before I started Pattern Scout. I was selling little handmade goods to boutiques like at wholesale rates. And it was really, really, really tough for me to price those goods competitively in the market because the mass produced items were just priced so cheap. And when I started kind of doing the math and doing the numbers in my head, I was like, wow, there's just no way that they are making these products, even in a mass production scale, there's no way they're making these products and paying people a reasonable living wage. So that really bothered me a lot. And it definitely made me a lot pickier about the things that I was buying in stores. We've kind of been spoiled by the really cheap cost of goods. And most of the goods that we buy, especially clothing, are made by a real person's hands or often an assembly line of real people that work really, really hard to produce the garments that we wear every day. Actually physically making products by hand really opened my eyes to you know, the shortfalls in the fashion industry and in the manufacturing industry in general. And it's also incentivized me to thrift more. I have really grown to love thrifting a lot and I do try to thrift most of my ready to wear clothing when I can. Um, I do still buy a little bit of ready to wear clothing, but I definitely look toward thrifting more than I ever did before. The next thing I learned was that I don't need to sew every single thing that I wear. When I first started sewing, I was really putting a lot of pressure on myself to never leave the house, not fully decked out in my me made garments. And I still, I still kind of put a little bit of that pressure on myself to this day. Um, I really am proud of the things that I make and I know it's going to come up in conversation in most cases. So yeah, I do still put a little bit of that pressure on myself, but I've released that pressure quite a lot over the last year. Just in the last six months, my wardrobe has gone from about 90% me made to about maybe 60 to 70% me made. And it's become more about having balance for me and having garments that I'm actually going to wear and enjoy. Over the years, I've kind of realized that there are some things that I just really don't enjoy sewing or that are better quality to buy rather than to make myself. So active wear, swimwear, and undergarments fall into this category for me. I find that those items tend to be a little bit too fiddly for my liking. I feel like there's a lot of little small things. 
I don't know. It's just like the finishing is not really what I ever want it to be. And I don't really have a hard time finding those things in a store that fit me well and that kind of serve the purpose that I need them for. Yeah, it just, the reward for me wasn't as great for the amount of effort that I put into them. So I have kind of given myself permission to not make those things and to buy them. I also really, really, really love jeans. And if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I really love making jeans. I also love buying jeans. Like I love to find a really great pair of stone washed ready to wear jeans. And that is a garment that is kind of hard for me to replicate in my sewing practice. And if you saw my video where I tried to bleach and distress jeans, you will have seen that I ruined a perfectly great pair of jeans that I made by bleaching them completely white. Um, so yeah, I may revisit that project sometime in the future. I've been doing some research on some new techniques that I may try out. No, no promises. If it goes well, I'll share it. If not, maybe, maybe you'll never know. And of course, occasionally I do find a ready to wear garment that I just love, even if I could make it myself. And sometimes I will try to recreate those garments. I actually did a video a couple of weeks ago where I recreated a dress that I found that was like a really beautiful and simple construction. You should definitely go check it out. I'll put a link in the cards or in the description below. The fourth thing that sewing my own wardrobe has taught me is that I can do hard things. And so can you. When I first started thinking about sewing my own wardrobe, I was actually pretty intimidated. Even though I did have experience sewing, I had sewn in some capacity for most of my life, whether it was altering my clothing to fit better or even starting a business where I was making products, sewn products to sell. I still felt really intimidated about starting to sew my own clothing because it just felt like it was so involved and so complicated. And honestly, it can be sometimes. Some of the projects can be pretty involved and complicated, but you can also find plenty of projects that are very simple, very beginner friendly. But I have learned that I really thrive creatively when I challenge myself to learn something new. And it feels really good to do something that once seemed kind of difficult and to accomplish that thing. It's a really good feeling. Once I learned a few basic techniques, it was really easy to grow in my sewing practice and continue learning more. And five years ago, I couldn't have imagined how big of a role this hobby would play in my life. It's honestly kind of changed my life. And even though initially it was kind of intimidating to put myself out there and make my own clothing and literally wear my creations on my body out in the world every day and possibly open myself up to criticism, I'm so glad that I did it and it has become such an empowering hobby and it's boosted my confidence immensely. And I get comments almost weekly from folks here on YouTube who I think probably underestimate their ability to create a garment that fits well and looks great and feels great. But I'm telling you, you can do this. If you have a desire to try this, you can definitely do it. And you don't have to be great at it right away. I made a lot of weird stuff when I was first starting out. I chose really weird fabrics. I made things that didn't fit. I made things that I didn't wear. I just gave myself permission to not be great at it and to just have fun with it. And the more I did it, the better I got over time. And lastly, it's never too late to start something new. I feel like this sentiment is true in many aspects of life, whether it's starting a new hobby or starting a new career or starting a new YouTube channel. I hear from a lot of people that are interested in sewing, whether they are restarting their practice after years of being away from it, or they are starting completely from scratch. And it makes my heart so happy <laughs> to know that you guys want to start sewing because it is a hobby that brings me so much joy and I love sharing it with you guys. Even starting this YouTube channel, I was hesitant at first because I thought, gosh, there are so many people in this space who are more creative, who are funnier, who are more engaging, who are more stylish, who uh, have more experience, and honestly, who are younger than me that are thriving here. Like, what do I have to add to this space? I just felt like I had so much catching up to do, but I decided to show up and do my best, and it has been so rewarding. And I do wish I had started sooner. I honestly wish I would have started much sooner because I think, wow, if I had started back when I first had the idea to start a YouTube channel, where would I be now? But it doesn't matter because I'm here now and it's honestly going great. And I'm so glad that I did it. I'm so glad I started. And it wouldn't be going as great as it's going if it weren't for you guys. So I want to thank you for being here, for showing up for me, for commenting and liking these videos and subscribing. Being here has really exceeded my expectations and we're getting close to 30,000 subscribers, which is very exciting. 
So thank you, thank you for being here. If you did enjoy this video and you'd like to see more from me, please be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I release new videos in the future. I do a lot of sewing content here, a lot of tutorials. I do some self-drafting stuff. I do some sew alongs for my patterns. And of course I sell patterns and I just, I love sewing. I love garment sewing. I love sharing it here with you guys. I've enjoyed every minute of it. So yeah, I think that's all I have for you today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.